Hi guys and welcome to another video by myself, Bateson87. This one is actually a video I would usually do at the end of FIFA, like I said in FIFA 15, but the way Legends have been released in FIFA 16, every single one is available from day one. And already, I know someone with all the Legends to be able to build the best possible Legends team available to you on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. Now unfortunately, PS4, PS3 users, you will never get your hands on these Legends in FIFA 16 at least. No idea when they're going to be coming over to uh, X, uh, PlayStation, probably never, I would uh, presume, because X Xbox is the reason that uh, Legends actually exist on uh, FIFA. So guys, if you do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. If we try and hit over 7,000 likes for this squad builder, that would be absolutely sick. And uh, also, um, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Not sure if I said that, but there we go. So guys, this is the best possible legend team. It's got a few legends on the bench as well, which don't even make it into there. Um, and also Purple Lewandowski, just chilling. But in the goalkeeper position, guys, we do have Shemichael. Yeah, still not as good as he, uh, he's just not good. He, he wasn't good last year, he's not good this year. Let's everything in. Does not feel like a 90-rated goalkeeper for sure. Manuel Neuer is twice as good as him and he is also 90-rated. But the only thing benefit of these legends is you can get one of them and fit him in absolutely any team because they get links with anyone. In the centre-back position, we have three decent centre-backs. We have Baresi, Maldini and also Beckenbauer. So we're going to put... Now, this is a bit of a bad choice. I'm going to put the smallest in the middle, which is Baresi, even though that probably isn't a bad move, but it probably is a bad move, actually, for crosses. But I don't mind having him in there anyway. In the left centre-back position, we do have Beckenbauer uh, from Germany, and then on the right-hand side, we do have Maldini from Italy. The remaining legends, they, like there's two new fresh legends in here uh, from FIFA 15 and they are two very good legends as well. In the centre midfield position on the left hand side we do have Mateus who is godly. He is even better this year. Unfortunately I've not got him on main account because I did want to get him but I went with Vieira instead because he is ridiculous as well. But he doesn't make it into the team. In the centre midfield position on the left hand side we go with CDM now uh, which is actually, do it. I can't actually seem to find a legend, so it might actually be Vieira, which makes it into the team. I was lying to you, but I think Vieira actually does make it into this team, uh, the 88 rated centre midfielder. In the right midfield position, we do go with a new legend, which is George Best, Manchester United legend, um, Northern Ireland as well. And uh, thankfully, because of the legend links with everyone, uh, he's actually well sought after. It, because of the fact that he's Northern Ireland, who are going to link him with? There's not many, many good Northern Ireland players on the game. But 90 pace, 94 dribbling, 89 shooting and uh, also 81 passing. He is pretty good. It's a shame he's not more in the central role, but you can change that pretty quickly by whacking him in right forward in a 4-3-2-1 formation. In the left midfield position, we do go with Ryan Giggs, also a Manchester United legend and also assistant manager of Manchester United as well. Welsh Brilliant. On this game, 90 pace, 87 passing, 88 dribbling. Doesn't feel like an 89 mated legend to him. Feels a little bit less, but he's still very good at what he does. In the cam position, we go with someone converted down from a centre midfielder. Um... Sorry, I've just realised what I've done. It's actually Burkamp, which goes in the... Uh, Burkamp goes in the camp position. Uh... Vieira actually does go in the centre midfield position and in the CM position we actually do put our man Hullet. I uh, just never converted him down but Hullet is 90 rated. I was thinking I was missing someone because uh, this team is pretty much 90 rated plus uh, apart from Ryan Giggs. Now in the striker position guys we have got Pele. Um, well we've got Van Basten. He's the main striker we've got there. Uh, he is very very good actually. Clinical finisher. Suits his game very well as well with his 83 pace, 94 shooting, 81 dribbling and uh, also the free star, free star, free star. The only let down with him is his low attacking work rate. In the striker position, guys, we do go with a Brazilian striker, which is Pele. 95 rated. I've only seen two of these on the market. Someone else got the first one, uh, but the owner of this account did get the second, and I've not seen one since. Like, if we go to list on market, go to accidentally list him on the market, which I should not do, there was actually none on the market as we compare price. So, guys, that is the best possible legend team available to you on FIFA 16 Ultimate Team. Apologies for the mix-up between Vieira and Hullet. Uh, didn't realise he was in the camp position, but that is a very, very nice-looking legends team, and it won't be beaten until FIFA 17, when EA potentially could add in Philbab, who will be 97 rated. 
created. So, guys, let's go and get into the highlights we did get with this team. Leave a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you in a sec. So, guys, when rocking up with legend teams and you play against someone with a full legend team in this FIFA, especially the high-rated one, you are going to be coming up against people who are going to try their fucking hardest to smash you. Exactly what happened with me. We were uh, getting dominated a few times in the games. Probably didn't deserve the wins, but we were able to drag it away just because of the quality of player. Mateus, brilliant. Hullet, brilliant. Burkamp is ridiculous. Hopefully, I can pick one up for a little bit cheek because I won't mind him on my uh, account either. Pele, good. But not as good as he was last year. I think it's because of the way the game's changed. Van Basten, very suited to the game as a target man. And uh, actually really enjoyed using Best and Giggs, the two new people, into the team. The defence was awesome as well. Even though you can see in this game, guys, they concede three goals yet again. It was just the work rate to the players. We did get quite lucky there. Um, uh, Pele with a nice finish. But I did enjoy being given the chance to play with this full legend team. It was a privilege. And uh, we won't have to do it again in this FIFA. Because this is the best possible on FIFA 16. Won't change and uh, that's what this channel is all about for you guys to be able to see these videos on the team how the players play because you can build them on footed and footways like uh, a lot of people do say in the comment section below but you can't see someone playing with them on a website so guys if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like rate and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and feel free to leave some comments down below of some more best possibles we can do in the coming weeks so until next time see you all later have a very very nice rest of your day